Okay, so my name is Silas uh, Miami. Yes, Miami like a city. <laughs> you get used to it after a while. I play Saul, which is the main character in the, in the musical The Color of God. Uh, it is a really interesting musical. Seeing that it, it tests the bounds of what normal church plays, because this will be perceived as a church play, have reached. Why? Because it looks at all aspects. It tests your your Christianity to bounds and founded. I mean, personally, I'm a cynic, so Christianity isn't really my forte. But when I went over the script, I felt really empowered to do the role. Why? Because it gives me a deep understanding of what happened. When you go through the play, you realize that uh, whatever Saul and his, his ilk were doing was almost justified according to the Jewish law. And before he became poor, he had reason to do what he did, which was go on a chariot against Christianity. Because according to the books that they had there, they were expecting something bigger. And, and Jesus just did cut the, 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 he didn't reach the bar where they expected. You know, they expected someone to bring in and, uh, uh, millions of, 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 um, of, of uh, guys to come and overthrow the Roman government. They expected someone to be born out of royal blood. Not a carpenter's son is not exactly your idea of, of a messiah. So at, at some point in the play, you almost agreeing with what they did, that the, the, the killing of Jesus and the killing of, of Christians was justified. But then again, by the end, you're realigned to what happened, that the human expectation of what uh, the Bible or the Jews believe the Messiah would be is, is quite different. And you get to understand that. At the end of the play, I think you will leave with um, a deep understanding to what happened, be it uh, why Jesus was killed in the first place. What is, what is the character of Paul in the play? Uh, he is, Paul is, that is at the beginning, a young juvenile kid whose best, you know, the whole, the whole day he spends reading his books and, and making his sister's life a living hell, while, uh, you know, just being hard-headed, the normal teenager, the normal rebellion phase. But when he gets a chance to go to the Gamaliel School of Law, he gets a chance to experience what he's always wanted, which is uh, to become a great scholar. He is empowered, he's given the right knowledge, he's given the right guidance, and he eventually becomes a genius, should I say, in respect to, to the laws of the Jews. So yeah, that's basically Paul in a nutshell. He's, empowered to do something about the crisis the Jews, are, the Jews are facing, which is a tirade by the Roman government. So who is your audience? My audience. My audience is... Our audience? Our audience. Is anyone, anyone willing to, to, to get enlightened? We don't have a target, you know, we, we say we're, we're targeting you. We're targeting, so, so we're targeting anyone who's willing to get empowered, anyone who's willing to understand the story behind Paul, anyone who's willing to understand why what happened happened. So that's our target.